Hey folks, I wanted to post a quick correction to my initial introductory Anthem room correction video because as a variety of folks were nice to point out, I actually made a couple mistakes with my mic positioning. So let's go over proper positioning for an Anthem Arc Genesis calibration. So that first video didn't get too, too deep into Arc. I was trying to make it more of kind of an overview how the software generally works, how the sequence of a, of a room measurement calibration and such goes. I will go into a lot more detail in future videos, showing my curves, showing modifications that I made, advanced options and capabilities and so on in the software. So I think that video still stands as a high level introduction to Anthem Arc calibration, Arc Genesis and such. But I did have a couple of oversights, how I set things up when I was doing my actual measurements. So I just wanted to take a couple quick minutes and go over proper mic placement and, and it did make a difference actually I did this last night now I took a, a new set of measurements after doing some subwoofer equalization and then using the different positions and the curves do present a little bit differently definitely want to follow the guides it's all online too there's an arc genesis arc room correction user guide on the anthem webpage and it has specific instructions and guidelines for how you want to manage your microphone so mic position number one should be at your main listening position. Basically where are your ears, center of your head, where are your ears, the height of where your ears are in space. My MLP is right here in the middle of my couch. And if I sit back here, you can kind of see, you know, I would be right in this area, top of the mic with my ear back against the sofa where my seating position would be. So that's position one, that's, that's your main, your, your MLP. And of course, as always, with all these measurements, you wanna make sure the little circle, the little opening faces forward. So as you position things around, make sure the last thing you do is twist your microphone so that circle faces forward. Now, the mistake that I made with the other positions is a couple things. One, I put them a little too far away. They recommend basically two feet between mic positions when you're doing this type of five point, uh, five point measurement around your MLP. And I was going a little too far, a little too far out to the side. And then also for measurements two and three, <clears throat> I was doing kind of a flat plane right here. And actually what you want is you want two and three to be both ahead of and below the main listening position. So what I can do here is take the mic stand and basically embed the post right where that MLP position would be. What I want to do then essentially is kind of come forward and to the side and lower. And they recommend like six to 12 inches below here. So this was something like 20 inches or so, 22 inches off my couch. I wanna drop that height down to be maybe, you know, 12 or so inches off the couch, maybe even a little higher than that. But that's the gist of it. And it just so happens that my microphone arm here is exactly two feet. Of course, that's the angle. The positioning works out fine. I was doing it last night. Just get out a tape measure check your heights, check your distances, and so on. So that would be position two. Again, forward, to the right of, forward of, and below where that MLP position was. Position three, very easily swing it over to the side. Again, forward of, lower, but this time to the other side. And then I can go up and over first to the left for position four. And of course, again, we want this higher now. So we would be raising this up six to 12 inches above the uh, above the height of that MLP, that would be number four, and then swing it around back there for number five. One of the other things that you can do, and that they actually recommend in the guide, is basically make it an X pattern. So if the center of the X is your MLP, you would have position two and five, or in, in a straight line to each other on that X, and position three and four would do the same. As I keep running this, I'll, I'll get more exact with my placements, but again, use a tape measure. You, you'll get a feel for your space, and it, uh, sure, over time, and as you run arc multiple times, you'd be able to just get the mic, you know, you'll know where it needs to go. And I need to finagle a little bit more specifically with how to, how to best adjust the mic stand, each of these positions, and in order to reach them and such well. So that's the correction. Take a look at the Arc Genesis guide. Um, I think the rest of the information and the introductory overview for my last video still stands. I just had these, I just had these mic positions off by, by a little bit. So now I know knowing it's half the battle. 
Thanks for watching. So much more content coming soon. Please like and subscribe. Check down in the description for ways to support the channel. And we'll see you soon.